epinephrine has an effect on cells by causing a cascade reaction within it. So we start off, so when epinephrine binds to its receptor on the cell surface, right, it triggers a series of events within it. We can go and refer to this as being called a transduction event because that signal is being carried through the cell membrane. Once the receptor is bound to epinephrine, that activates adenyl cyclase, right? It activates it by causing a conformational change within its structure. That will then enable it to go and convert a molecule of ATP into a molecule of cyclic AMP. The cyclic AMP will then go and affect a series of different enzymes involved either in the construction of glycogen or the breakdown of glycogen. So firstly, our cyclic AMP will go and bind to a molecule of glycogen phosphorylase. So the job of glycogen phosphorylase is to go and break down stored glycogen into glucose. So when it's activated by adding a phosphate molecule to it, that enables it to do this. Secondly, our cyclic AMP will go and bind onto a molecule of glycogen synthase, causing it to become inactive. Because we've inactivated it, that means that no new glycogen will get built. So this ensures that no new glycogen will be made in the cell so through the regulation of these enzymes muscles can rapidly break down lots and lots of glycogen to produce glucose which can then be used for respiration in terms of what it will be used for within the fight or flight response of the cell